Okay, so let's set up a little experiment to uh, test out our bubble detector. We have some uh, sources from the uh, industrial smoke detector here, americium. And uh, test that guy out. Okay, so this is the side with the alphas coming out of it. This shiny yellow side. Okay. And we have a little thing of beryllium here. And let's, uh, we got some tape here. So here's our tape. And let me uh, just fold over a corner of it. And I'll just take this uh, piece of americium. We'll stick it on the tape like so, and we will put it on the pellet of beryllium, so we're bombarding the beryllium with the alpha particles. Okay, and so there's our neutron. Oh, we need to put some beryllium, it's pretty slippery. So I might need to put some extra tape around it and make sure it stays on. And tape is always stickier when it sticks to itself for some reason. Okay, so let's just wrap that around. Okay. Okay. So we have our little neutron detector, or er, generator, neutron generator. See the uh, americium's in there aimed at the beryllium target. Okay. And let's set this guy down for a second. And here is our bubble detector, and it's kept under a pressurized container. Okay. And they recommend exposing it for 24 hours at most. Let's, um... I'm going to tape, since, uh... tape is such an amazing invention. I'm going to tape it. The beryllium's probably a reflector, so I'm going to tape the americium closest to the, the detector, and if the neutrons go into the beryllium, they'll probably reflect back. So let's uh, tape this guy on here, like so. Okay. Looks like I need a little bit more tape to go around. Okay, so get that on there a little bit better. Okay, so I have the beryllium, the uh, americium pointing toward our neutron detector. Let me put a little bit more tape on this guy. <coughs> Make sure it's taped down good. Okay. And uh, they say recommend. Okay, there's a green thing. I think the green thing is a temperature sensor that says that uh, I'll have to check on that, but that determines whether it's too hot or not to use, but it's definitely not too hot down here. Okay, so. We have our neutron generator put right next to our our uh, neutron detector, and this is a fast neutron detector. And I'm going to activate it by taking out this plunger down here. Okay, and just so I don't lose the plunger, I'm going to stick it on the back, and then we'll just set this guy down for about 24 hours and uh, see how see if any bubbles form okay okay so we'll check on that tomorrow then I guess okay so here's our first experiment and um, this is the beryllium americium uh, neutron generator and I'm going to 
just pull this off so we can look and see if there's any bubbles in there. Because so, you're only supposed to let it run for about 24 hours. Okay. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that in there. I definitely see a bubble in there. Okay. How cool. So that means we got at least uh, 22 millirems. Okay. And um, let me uh, reset this guy. So I'm going to take this screw off here. You see, see that bubble in there? It's right about right there. Okay. So if I pull this guy off and stick it back on here and try recompressing it, it looks like the bubble disappears. Look at that. Okay. And so, what they recommend is you store them also in, um, just like the bubbles compressing and disappearing. <coughs> we have our special containers here, which uh, have an O-ring on them. I'm going to stick him back in there. Okay. And seal him back up. Okay. And here's our little pellet. I'll take him back apart and put him back away. Of the uh, beryllium and the americium in there. Okay. And uh, looks like we're ready to do some interesting experiments. And anyway, this is uh, Dr. James, and thanks. This is Dr. James, and thanks for watching. <coughs>